AI is everywhere in 2025, but let's be honest, a lot of companies are just using it as a buzzword and they don't really have artificial intelligence in their products. Kind of like this robot dog I bought off Timu last year. <laughs> Useless. But hidden behind all of these companies that use AI as a buzzword, there are actual products that do utilize AI. And a lot of them are doing it to help people, ones you've never heard about. These are gadgets that help people sleep better, replace missing body parts, or even avoid car crashes. There's even some AI you can pee on. What? So in today's video, I wanna go through 21 gadgets that are actually helping people in the real world in 2025. To kick this list off, I actually wanted to start with a product that I saw at CES earlier this year, here in 2025. Now this is the Tombot Robot Dog. It is a realistic robotic emotional support dog powered by AI designed to comfort people with dementia, PTSD, or loneliness. At CES, I actually got to talk with the CEO of the Tombot Dog, and what he told me was that his mother actually had dementia and he wished that he would have been able to give her something that was emotionally intelligent enough to keep her company while she was you know, dealing with everything that she was dealing dealing with. After his mother's passing, he ended up doing a lot of research into what would make a great companion for someone like this or someone who has PTSD or any of these other issues. And instead of going on the uncanny valley route, which a lot of these robot dogs do, this one actually looks real, has normal robot dog eyes, which is very important because the whole connection between us and dogs happens in their eyes, as well as their facial expressions. And the Tombot gives you all of this. Like I said, when I saw it at CES, I was super blown away. This was the best robot dog that I've seen that is not trying to become some sort of like military application. Next on our list is a product that I feel like they took a projector and an AI robot and then smashed them together. This is the Scribbot Drawbot. The Scribbit is a wall-mounted AI powered robot that turns any wall into a digital art canvas, which is useful for education, decoration if you want, or even adaptive learning. This is one of those products that I feel like is going to be in every classroom going forward in the future because it just seems like it has so many applications and I also wanna get my hands on one so I can do a full review on this channel. I'm gonna reach out to the company actually after making this video. We're gonna see if we can do a full review on it. Now next on our list is the Rewind Pendant AI Memory Assistant. The Rewind Pendant is a wearable AI second brain that records your day and uses AI to help you recall conversations, facts, and moments. Now maybe it's just me, but I feel like this is gonna be used a lot for people who have spouses or best friends who they're constantly debating about whether or not they said something earlier in the day or whether they didn't say something earlier in the day. Well, now you don't have to guess. <laughs> you can either easily win an argument or very easily lose an argument by just going back through this device and finding out whether you said the thing or not. <sighs> Next on our list is something that blends the coffee that's in this mug with, you guessed it, AI. This is the X-Bloom AI coffee machine. It's a high-end smart coffee maker that uses AI to detect bean type and optimize your grind, brew time, and the temperature. Now, if you knew me in real life, you would know I absolutely love coffee. So anything AI or elsewhere that can make my coffee taste better, I'm all in. I love me some coffee. <coughs> this is actually coffee from like five hours ago, but I wanted to use it for this bit. <coughs> it does not taste good anymore. Next on our list is an AI robot for your home, which is a lot like the AI robots that I have behind me. However, this one claims to be a lot better. This one comes to us from Samsung and is called the Bali Robot. It's a cute rolling robot that acts like a personal assistant for home automation, smart devices, and presence awareness. Now, I actually got to see this robot in person, or rather on a video screen in person, if that makes sense, when I was at CES 2025. And everything that Samsung claims about this robot seems so cool, and I wish I could have gotten my hands on it before I made this video, but unfortunately it has a delayed release date and it's not gonna come out until summer of 2025, so we're all gonna have to wait, but if it does everything that it claims, this is gonna be a sick AI robot for your house. Whew, it's getting hot in this studio. Oh wait, that is where the next product comes into play that could actually help me out. Because the next product on the list is called the Withings Bemo. Not to be confused with my amazing Corgi who sadly passed away last year, but his name was Bemo. He was the best dog ever. I should just make a whole video on him, but I digress. The Withings 
BMO is a new AI-enabled multi-scope thermometer that takes temperature, heart rate, oxygen, and even stethoscope level audio all in one scan. Now, I feel like the AI market for healthcare is already huge, especially because our healthcare system here in the US, if you live here, it absolutely sucks. I won't go into that right now, but I will say, I feel like AI is gonna step into this space and start making a lot of home automations and a lot of different products for you to use in your home to figure out what your health is because it's just way too expensive to go to the doctor. And I feel like the Withings BMO is a super cool product that we might all have in our home soon. Ugh, next on our list is a workout product that has AI built in. I don't even know, was that Arnold Schwarzenegger? I don't even know what that was supposed to be. This next product is called Tonal. You've probably heard about it. It's AI fitness equipment that adjusts weights, offers dynamic spotting, and evolves your workout plan based on performance and goals. Now I have friends that actually own Tonals and they love them. And I feel like with the AI technology getting better, these devices are only going to get better. It's also probably going to spark a lot of competition in this space because gyms are just way overpriced. It just sucks that most of them come with a subscription. God, I hate the subscription model. <laughs> Let's move on. Now next on the list is the brother to the Enobot mini robot, which obviously I have. I've done a full review on it. I'll link it up above and down below in the description if you wanna go and check it out. But this little robot is awesome. And the Enobot Evo X is even better. The Evo X is a smart companion robot with AI powered surveillance, elder care functions, and emotional interactions for families or if you just live alone. Now in my opinion, Samsung Bali probably got the idea for their robot off of this one, but all of the Enobots are way cheaper and I feel like they're all gonna probably be just as good. I mean. We'll see when the Bali comes out. But in the meantime, I highly suggest getting one of these bad boys to watch over your home. Well, not this one, the upgraded version. You know what I'm talking about. Now our next AI product on this list actually comes to us from a company that's been around for a very, very long time and is just now jumping into the AI space, which is Goodyear Tires. The Goodyear Sightline Smart Tire has AI powered tire sensors that track road conditions, pressure, and wear to predict issues before they become dangerous. Now to get ready for this list, I watched a few videos on this specific tire and to me, it honestly seems pretty cool, but also pretty close to what a lot of cars already have as far as detecting tire pressures and things like that, only this one goes a little bit of a step further by predicting issues that might come up in the future for these tires and also road conditions. I also feel like that could be used nefariously though to try and tell you that your tires need to be changed out when technically they do have a little bit more wear and tear that they could take. But I guess we'll see when people start getting these and start complaining or praising them. Now this next product is super exciting because I actually got to test it out again at CES 2025 and the way that it mimicked my hand was insane. This is the Oymotion AI robotic hand. The Oymotion Intelligent Hand is a next-gen prosthetic powered by AI and EMG, which is muscle signal sensors. It learns how your muscles fire, then uses that data to move the hand naturally, giving people who lost a limb the ability to grip, hold, and even gesture again. To me, this is the kind of technology that I am super excited for, because not only are people being able to, you know, brew their coffee better or watch their home or all of these other daily tasks that we have, but now for people who have lost limbs, people in the real world who really need this technology to catch up to help them, it's finally here. Uh, do you have chronic pain? Cause if so, this next item might just be for you. This is the Quell 2.0. It's a wearable device that uses AI and machine learning to deliver customized nerve stimulation for chronic pain relief. It adapts to your specific pain levels and patterns, providing a drug-free alternative to manage conditions like back, leg, and foot pain. Now I know a lot of people that suffer from chronic pain and I feel like with this kind of stimulation therapy, this could be an amazing alternative to taking drugs. Next product up comes from a very famous company who made their debut on Shark Tank, to most of us at least, which is Ring. And this is the Ring Always Home Cam. It's an autonomous indoor drone that uses AI to patrol your home when you're away, providing next level security. Now I am all about drones. I've got a ton of drones in my office, but one that is specifically made for indoors, that I don't have and that I'm super excited about. What's something that scares you? Because for me, it's fire. But luckily, the next product on our list helps with that. I'm of course talking about Ting by Whisper Labs. Now Ting is a compact device that plugs into a standard electrical outlet and uses AI to monitor your home's electrical system. It detects micro arcs and other anomalies that could indicate potential fire hazards, alerting homeowners like you before issues escalate. Now, Ting has been credited with preventing fires in approximately one out of every 150 homes where it's installed. To me, this isn't just basic AI. This is something that could literally save your life. The next product on our list is an AI powered walking cane, and it was just too cool for me not to share. The Smart Cane by 
by WeWalk is designed for visually impaired users. It provides GPS navigation, obstacle detection, and voice assistant integration. Now, speaking of devices that I think are really gonna change the world, this next item on the list, I've actually done a full review on already. So if you wanna check it out, I'll link it up above and down in the description below. But that is the Elihir Smart Hearing Aids. One of the most advanced over-the-counter hearing aids you can buy in 2025. Now, these are powered by deep neural networks that actively analyze your surroundings and zero in on voices, filtering out background noise in real time. So whether you're in a noisy cafe, walking through traffic, or even talking in a crowded room, the conversation stays crystal clear. The AI learns from your environment, adjusting levels automatically without you having to touch a thing. And the reason why these are still boxed is because I haven't even opened them yet. And Ellie here found out that I was making this video and they sent me this just to show you guys. So I'm just gonna unbox them real quick and just show you what they come with really fast. So this is what Ella here sent me. Welcome to your new AI hearing aids. So according to this, it takes approximately three to four weeks for your brain and ears to get used to wearing the new hearing aids, which after testing these out for a while, as well as my parents, it really does work after three to four weeks. Now the steps to using it are also really easy, which is great. You just download the Elihir app. It automatically connects via Bluetooth. And then you can do a lot of adjusting inside the Elihir app. Apparently they just sent me the brand new champagne colored ones. Ooh, look at those. As you can see, they charge very easily in here. They've just got a little magnet. They pop right in, they start charging. This is what they look like. They're very minimal. I feel like you wouldn't even notice them that much inside your ears. I really like the new champagne color. It's kind of cool. A lot of the Ella here ones come in different colors, which is very, very cool. And then underneath here, it's got a little pull tab right here. Makes it easy to get this little booklet out. Sometimes they get stuck in there. But you've got the quick start guide and you've got the user manual. Super easy to use though, like I said. You've also got your ear domes, which are extra ear domes. And then down here, you've got a little multifunction tool. And then finally, you've got the USB that's actually actually gonna charge it. Now I wanna give a super shout out to Ella here for sending me these. I think they're really nice and they're built really, really well. Oh yeah, the other thing that I forgot to mention, they actually sent me a hearing aid dryer, but this thing looks super nice too. I love how they designed everything. Now, if you're wondering what a hearing aid dryer is, because I definitely was, I was so confused. This is actually pretty genius. Basically every night you can put your hearing aids in here and you can turn this on and it's gonna dehumidify your hearing aids, which is apparently a big issue after wearing hearing aids all day. So I feel like this is just a really cool extra. But yeah, shout out to Elia for sending me this just so I could show it to you in this video of the new champagne colorway. And again, if you wanna see the full video review I did on these, I will link it up above and down below. And also I'll leave a link down in the description below for you guys to actually buy these if you'd like to pick these up. Oh my gosh, am I pregnant? Oh no, wait, it's just a blanket. But if I was pregnant, the next product on this list would really help me out. And that is the Temp Drop Fertility Tracker. It's AI enabled and you can wear it and it tracks ovulation patterns and body signals to help with cycle prediction and fertility awareness. Now, the more I looked into this product, the more I thought this seems like such a cool idea. But for those of you out there that can actually get pregnant, let me know down in the comments if you think this is a cool device. <sighs> That's some fresh air. Or wait. Is it? Well, with my next device, I would be able to know that if I had it. This is the Air Things View Plus. It's an AI enhanced indoor air quality monitor that helps you optimize ventilation, detect CO2 spikes, and predict mold growth risks. Now, as someone who has had friends who have had mold in their house, that is terrifying. And it would be really cool to have some sort of AI detection to let you know early on before you, you know, breathe in the stuff. Sticking with products that can make you feel healthier, we are gonna jump over to a ring that you wear that helps you sleep better along with a bunch of other stuff. This is the Aura Ring Gen 4. This little ring tracks sleep, stress, and activity while the AI recommends habits for better recovery and health optimization. I'm always tired, so I feel like I need this ring. Ugh. All right, so this next product probably would have helped me there when I tripped, especially if I would have fallen all the way down. This product is the Nobi Smart Lamp, a ceiling light with AI fall detection and emergency assistance. It's ideal for elderly care and independent living support. It's also pretty ideal for someone like me who's just clumsy. Second from the last item I had to include because I just thought it was a really cool technology. Now I'm sure all of you guys have heard of Instacart. This is Instacart AI Smart Cart, a grocery cart that scans items, suggests recipes, and totals your order without checkout lines. Now before I get to the last item on this list, I just wanted to say you guys are amazing. I just went full time on YouTube. So there's a bunch of new videos that are gonna be coming out. And if that interests you, along with whatever you saw in this video, if that interests you, please hit that subscribe button because that would be super sweet. But moving on to the last product, have you ever been peeing in the toilet and thought, hmm, this should be able to tell me how healthy I am. Well, 
The next product does that. This product is called Vivu. Now Vivu uses AI to analyze your body's wellness from a urine test at home. You just urinate on a test strip, scan it with your phone, and the app gives personalized health tips based on hydration, vitamin levels, pH, kidney function, and so much more. It's like having a mini health lab in your bathroom. Again, if you live in the US, our healthcare system sucks. So something like the Vivu, which I actually have product samples of, are pretty awesome. Now, if you're wondering where I got these product samples from, it was at, you know, you're probably sick of me saying it, CES 2025. But I got to talk with the people who made it, and it seems super cool. They're their whole display was awesome, and I'm actually gonna be testing these in a future video. All right, with that being said, that is 21 AI gadgets that I think actually will help people here in 2025. If you guys have used any of these products, let me know down in the comments below. Also, if you guys are very interested in any of these products, let me know down in the comments below. And lastly, did I forget anything? Leave that in the comments down below as well. I'm gonna leave another video right up here of what YouTube algorithm thinks that you're gonna like and enjoy and go and click on that next. I'm Eric, this is Eric's Tech World. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Yeah.